Hi guys and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today I have the whole family with me and we're headed to Costco and to Walmart to pick up a lot of things. We haven't been to Costco since before Christmas and so we need to stock up. Tomorrow is actually Mackenzie's birthday. <laughs> so we need things for that. And next week we're headed back to Disneyland for her birthday and for my birthday. So we need things for that as well. So stay tuned and we will take you with us. The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. Okay guys, so I'm taking this opportunity to write my list. I do not have my list yet. And I just checked my phone to see what the weather's gonna be like in Anaheim while we're there. And it's, it just made me shocked because it's gonna be rainy and cold almost the entire time that we're there. So we need to plan for that. Maybe buy some ponchos, make sure everyone has a jacket and gloves and hats. And normally when we go to Disney, it's like 100 degrees. So this is a big difference. So we gotta plan for that. Now I just realized the silver lining in that because we're going during low season anyway because it's right after the Christmas um, activities end at Disneyland. So it wasn't gonna be crowded anyway, but the rain makes the park deserted. So it could be a good thing. It might be not a good thing. We shall see. Okay guys, we made it to Costco and they just opened about 30 minutes ago, so it's not too crowded yet. Now sometimes on our drive, I kind of like to show you the drive, but I feel like it's the same drive it was last time. It hasn't changed, so I didn't show you this time. Are you guys ready? Yeah! What are the rules? No screaming, no crying, no running away, no stealing stuff, no being weird. No being weird? No falling over. No falling over. <laughs> That's right, no fighting. Tomorrow's Kenzie's birthday. Are you excited? Yeah. How old are you going to be? Eight. Eight years old. That's great to be eight. Okay, what do you want to get from Costco? I want to get I like birthday breakfast foods. Birthday breakfast foods. Do The party plates. Mm -hmm. Maybe these guys can decide some presents that they want to get me. Oh, should they buy you presents? Yeah. Okay. A do a diary. A do a diary. <laughs> Let's go. Let's so we stopped in the kitchenware section because I wanted to check out anything that was new and I found these stackable baskets. They're just like this and you get both of them for $20. So I really like the idea of putting like fruits in them and, and keeping them on the countertop. That's really nice. So right now Costco has a lot of travel essentials and home good products. Uh oh, what'd you guys find? We found toilets. We don't need any new toilets. Come on, let's go. Okay. Let's go. So you can see Costco already has swimsuits out, but instead of buying one of those, I think we're gonna have to buy some of these waterproof jackets, but they're actually on sale right now. And you can see the little asterisk right there. That means I'm not going to restock them. It's actually a pretty good price for such a nice jacket. So, let's see if we can find some. Okay, so Lily picked out the pink one. Turn around, let's see. Cute. Turn around again. Give me a thumbs up. Looks good. So as you can tell, Costco also has a lot of big carpets and rugs on sale right now. They also have couches and furniture because that's what they do in January. And I'm looking at some of these rugs because the kids have totally stained the one that I have in the living room. But I'm looking at these ones. They're indoor-outdoor, so I'm thinking more durable. And I'm kind of liking this one with this sort of gray and tan colors. I don't know, it's $99, so it's not too bad. What do you think, Kenzie? I really like this one, but my favorite one is this one. It looks this like popcorn. One? Like popcorn? Oh, it's pretty soft. Yeah. Do you want some cheese? Uh, Ooh, is that yummy? They were sampling these today and the kids love them. They're like a mini baby bell cheese with a Costco brand. Is it good? Yummy. Okay friends, we finished up at Costco and as you can tell, we got quite a lot of stuff. All in the baby and we are ready to go. You ready to go? Yeah, uh -huh. the baby's trying to stay. How much did it come to, Daddy? $2.94. Now we're back home now and here's what we got. Okay guys, so we ended up going to Costco and to Walmart. We picked up a lot of food for the next couple of weeks. 
We picked up things for our trip and we also picked up things for Mackenzie's birthday. And I actually couldn't fit everything on the table at once. So I'll go ahead and show you these things and then I'll show you what didn't fit. But what didn't fit is mostly clothes and presents from Mackenzie, so I didn't want her to see those. So I'll go ahead and start with the things from Costco first, the non-food items. First up, we did end up getting a new jacket for Lily. This is actually a really nice jacket, and it was a lot more expensive a month ago. Now it was marked down to $16.99. It's waterproof, and it's even warm enough to go skiing in. So that's for Lily. We also picked up a big thing of toilet paper and lots of boxes of Kleenex. These are actually on sale right now. And I also went ahead and got these baskets for my countertop to keep all the fruit organized. Now, if it doesn't end up working with my kitchen, I know I can take it back. So we're gonna give it a try. Now, moving on to the food items from Costco. I got myself some more breakfast sandwiches. These are really good. I got some almond milk and some regular milk. And then these were on sale right now too. I normally buy the chocolate flavor, but I thought we could give the caramel a try. It sounded really good and it's $5 off right now. We also got a big thing of Activia, some cauliflower bites, which we've never tried before, but I like the uh, veggie bites, so I thought we could give these a try. We got some riced cauliflower. We got some cottage cheese, some sour cream, and 24 eggs. <laughs> right next to the eggs, I have our chicken. This is going to be for dinner tonight. And I also have some hard boiled eggs. Now these ones are for every day and baking and things like that, but these ones are actually coming with us on our trip to Disneyland. We also got some turkey sandwich meat for lunches this week. Moving over here, I have a big bunch of bananas, a fresh fruit bowl, and this has cantaloupe and honeydew, strawberries and pineapple. We also got some pizza crusts. Now we've never tried these before either, but you get four of them for $5. And I'm hoping that I can actually individually wrap some of these and stick them in the freezer for when it's time to make pizzas. Oh, and this also comes with the sauce as well. So nice and easy, cheap way to make homemade pizzas. Back here, we got a big thing of water to take with us to Disneyland. And like Jackson said, his favorite, the croissants. We got a big thing of these cheeses. These are like the Baby Bell cheese. And we also got a big thing of coconut cashew granola. This is very tasty. And it's gluten free, so even my husband can eat it. Over here, I got a big bag of cuties. A huge thing of spinach. I'm hoping I can go through this whole thing before it goes bad. This is beef jerky, definitely good for a trip. A double pack of the chunky peanut butter. This was on sale right now too. And finally back here, I got a double pack of the shredded mozzarella cheese. Great for making pizzas and throwing in lasagna, things like that. Now moving on to the things from Walmart, you're definitely gonna see some familiar things here. We pretty much buy the same things every time we go out of town, especially if we're going to Disneyland. We did pick up the foodles. These have cheese and fruit inside. And this one actually has cheese, fruit, and pretzels. So we take those with us into Disneyland. Next to that, I also picked up a four pack of the ready-made or microwavable mac and cheese. Sometimes when we're done at Disneyland for the day, we go back to the hotel and everyone's hungry, but we don't really wanna go out because everyone's exhausted. So this will be perfect to pop in the microwave. Back over here, I picked up this breakfast bowl. This is for my husband. We like to take these when we're out of town. We just microwave them in our hotel room and it's nice and easy. We got some strawberry Uncrustables. And this was new, I hadn't seen this before. These are the peanut butter and honey Uncrustables. And these have a little bit less sugar than the jam ones do. Hopefully the kids will like those. Those are both going to Disneyland with us. I got a regular thing of mac and cheese. Mackenzie requested this specific one for her birthday dinner. Back over here I have a family size box of Honey Nut Cheerios. We have some pancake and sausage things on a stick. It's kind of like a, cor a breakfast corn dog. Yeah, the kids really like those. I got some Jimmy Dean Delights to take on our trip. Back over here, I have lots of yogurt. I have a tart cherry Nusa. I have a lemon one, which is definitely my favorite. And then I also have a coconut one, which is my husband's favorite. And then I have lots of these flip yogurts. This one is the perfect peach. So it's got like a peach cobbler flavor. 
And then we also have a salted caramel crunch, a tropical one. So each of these have like yogurt on one side and like little crunchy things on the other side. And you just add them in, they're really tasty. This one is key lime crumble, and this one is a chocolate hazelnut. So those were a dollar each, but really fun to take on a trip, so it's kind of like a treat. My husband picked up a black label, which is kind of like a Mountain Dew type soda. We also got a pack of granola bars, some fruit snacks, and then for Mackenzie's birthday, she chose a Funfetti cake with this rainbow chip frosting. Now for Lily's birthday, I actually made a Funfetti cake from scratch, but when Mackenzie requested this one at the store, I said, okay, that'll be really easy. So we'll just go with easy this time. Not everything has to be made from scratch to be special, right? I also got some yogurt. This is the Yoplait strawberry and peach. We got some Nutella pretzels. The kids requested these. And it's much cheaper to bring these into Disneyland instead of buying all of their overpriced sweets and treats. So we're gonna take those with us. I also got some Annie's Cheddar Bunnies. These are perfect for school lunches. And then way back here, isn't this cute? I have a little booster seat for Griffin. We had one that we used with all the kids and it just needed to be replaced. So. He's moving out of his high chair into a booster seat. Now over here I have something new that we definitely don't normally buy. These are the chocolate hazelnut Oreos. Now I'm a big fan of Nutella, as you can tell, so I was excited to see these. So we're gonna take these to Disneyland as well and give them a try. Now over here I have a few things that my husband found. These are taco holders. So it's like a little plastic stand, just like that, to hold your taco up. Isn't that interesting? I think these will be really helpful for when the kids have tacos. It's going to make it a lot easier. And I think I can use these in some of my recipe videos as well. So also from Walmart, I picked up everything from Mackenzie's My Little Pony birthday party. We have plates and napkins, a little plastic tablecloth, and a special cup for her. I also picked up some purple crepe paper and some pink for decorating. And I got this little tassel garland. It's kind of hard to tell here, but that looks really pretty and fun and it all sort of matches and goes together. Um, for Disneyland, I picked up lots of glow sticks. I like to bring my own, it saves a lot of money. These were only about 98 cents at Walmart. We have some glow wands. Does that look cool, Jackson? Yeah. For the girls, I have glow wands that are princesses. And then I also got these glow sticks that go on the lanyard. I also picked up a new nail polish for myself because I was definitely needing to do my nails soon. Hopefully this really does dry instantly. I also got a Tide to Go pin. This is very good to have at Disneyland in case there's spills. And for Griffin, I got a new crib sheet with Mickey Mouse on it. Isn't that adorable? I also picked up a new pack of white socks for just about everyone in the family. I do like fun socks, but sometimes it's just easier to have white. We have some for Lily, and some for Griffin, and some for me, and some for Mackenzie, and some for Jackson. Lots of new socks. Perfect for when you're going to be doing a lot of walking in the theme park. And then finally back here I picked up some fleece fabric. This is a My Little Pony fabric, so it's perfect for Mackenzie's birthday. It was only $6.97 a yard, and I'm planning to make a little car blanket with this. So I don't need a huge amount of fabric for a little blanket that she can take in the car. Okay guys, last round of items. I forgot to show you this one. I actually got this one at Costco for Mackenzie's birthday. This is a Dork Diaries friendship box. Something that I know that she's been wanting for a long time, so she's gonna love that. It's like a little journal with a book and some little activities and things like that. I also picked up two packs of bows, a red one and a white one for the girls. I got some tights for the girls. This one's for Mackenzie. That one's for Lily. I got Griffin a pair of mittens, or actually a two-pack of mittens. Hopefully he'll keep them on. I got this for Mackenzie for her birthday. This comes with gloves and a hat. And then I also got a few new things for Disneyland since it's going to be cold this time. Most of the things we already have for Disneyland are for hot weather. So I picked up both of these dresses for the girls. There's Kenzie's and here's Lily's. And it's like a sweatshirt on top with a skirt on the bottom. And of course they'll wear their leggings underneath. So hopefully it'll be warm enough for them. And then I also picked up a new sweatshirt for myself. It's this really soft pink sweatshirt. 
I picked out this one because I thought it would go perfectly with my rose gold ears. And look, you guys, it totally does. That's a lot of pink, I know, but it's Disney and it's cute, so I love it. Okay, guys, that is everything for today. I know that's a lot of stuff, but it's going to last us hopefully a long time. And when we go out to do our grocery haul, we pretty much pick up everything that we're going to need, household items, things like that, for a while as well. We just make one big trip. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and see you next time.